hello welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time karibu sana which means welcome in swahili today i'll be showing you how to make this tasty cottage pie you will need peas carrots garlic onions i've grated mine but you don't have to secondly you will need rosemary and thyme i'm using the dry herbs but if you can get the fresh leaves even better now without wasting any time let's get to it your pot or pan cook your ground beef season it with salt and paprika and stir it for a few minutes in your onions and garlic and stir for around two to three minutes and let them cook followed by your carrots doing the same process stirring and let the carrots cook also for a few minutes add your green peas stir them then add in your soy sauce around a tablespoon and let your veggies cook for a few minutes so this is the point where we add in our tomato paste Mix it all in well with your veggies that it's evenly in there. Then add in your herbs, the rosemary and thyme. And let them simmer and cook for around 10 minutes in low heat. The ground beef cooks. We shall prepare the mashed potatoes. I'm starting the prep by cutting the potatoes. Then putting them in cold water. Seasoning them with salt. So that they cook till tender soft taking the potatoes if they are soft enough for mashing i'll go ahead and drain them now that they are ready then bring them back to the pot so that they dry completely and no water is left and then proceed to mashing now i'm mashing my potatoes not using a masher but a sieve because I want my mashed potato to be very, very fine and creamy. I'll actually do a video later on how I make my mashed potatoes. You can see how fine they are. So, so fine. It's a little bit of work, but the results are fantastic. There you can see them. Proceed adding my melted butter. I add it bits by bits and stirring the mashed potato. This really helps with bringing that fine consistency. You can see how it turns out. Adding in my heavy cream, you can always use milk. I just love to use heavy cream. This cream, I brought it to a simmer with um, rosemary and garlic and sieved it. And it's what I'm using here. I'll actually give a detailed video on how I do my mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are done. I'm going to add in my Parmesan cheese. Be generous with the cheese because that's what will give it the golden brown top. If you'd like to, you can add two egg yolks during this stage, but for this recipe, I chose not to. 
I'll go ahead and mix it all in. Mashed potatoes are ready. I've set them aside. The ground beef is also ready. And guys, you can smell the aroma of the herbs. I can smell the rosemary and the thyme. It smells really, really good. I'll proceed now to add in the mashed potatoes and spread it equally. I have spread the mashed potatoes using a fork. This helps it to not mix with the ground beef under it. And then I'll pop this into my oven at 180 degrees for around 18 to 20 minutes. Sage pie done and served. It looks really good and it smells really good. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. For me, I'm just going to dive in. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any new uploads. Till next time, bye-bye.